This video is brought to you by Squarespace. This is probably going to come as a shock to some of you, but you can't trust everything on the internet. <laughs> So there's been some talk in recent days about educational YouTubers and what to do when they get certain facts or figures wrong in a video. I'm an expert in this area. I get stuff wrong all the time. Uh, I'm a human being, don't even have a degree. I'm just a dude sharing his opinions and trying his best to figure stuff out, you know? I get things wrong a lot. I often unintentionally oversimplify things so that a lay person can jump right into a video without a whole lot of previous knowledge on the subject. Sometimes when I'm recording a video, I just, I say the wrong number and I don't catch it by the time I upload the video. Sometimes my research is flawed or even poor. Sometimes, yes, I even leave details out because they don't affect the overall point of the video in question. And here's a crazy one. Sometimes I leave details out because I don't have all the details. <laughs> this guy sent me a five page email the other day. He's like really, really, really mad because as I said, mixing cyan ink doesn't make the blacks any blacker in my ink cartridge video. Turns out it does. I am so tired of people like you who pretend to be know-it-alls, but don't understand anything beyond the basics of the subjects you cover. If you aren't going to have any journalistic integrity, there's no reason I should be subscribed. I advise you to remove your flawed video immediately or you'll likely lose all semblance of credibility as a YouTuber and your reputation, which you have destroyed, will never recover. Whew. Man, if only we held like actual journalists to the level of accountability that we hold losers like me to. To clear up any confusion, I'm not a journalist. I'm not running a news show. I'm not claiming to be an expert on anything that I talk about. Yes, even Spider-Man conspiracy theories, y'all. So what happens in situations like this where there is a factual mistake in an educational video? What do you do? There seems to be three schools of thought. Number one, you could take the video down. Number two, you can make a follow-up video addressing the errors. Or number three, you could issue a correction in the video's description. Me personally, I'm in school number three. Here's why. If I spend three months of my life working on a video, and in the end, there is a minor factual error in it that doesn't change the overall point of the video, I'm not taking that video down. I am not removing three months of work from the internet. I'm not. Other people might, that's fine. I'm not. I'm of the mindset that I am not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. And if you can't handle watching somebody who makes occasional mistakes, you need to take a hard look in the mirror and ask yourself if you are judging yourself by that same standard. Because I'm willing to surmise that you probably got one or two math problems wrong in school or university. I don't think that that should prohibit you from ever talking about mathematics again or tutoring somebody in long division. As for making like a follow-up video, to address certain areas? I don't know, I think it's like a case-by-case -case basis. I do know that if I had to release a follow-up video addressing every single mistake I ever made in any video, I would be so paralyzed by the thought of messing up. I would never be willing to make anything ever again. What's the point of life then at that stage? So what I do is that I try and put a correction in the description or I pin it to the top of the video or I just let people yell at me in the comments section for a while. <laughs> But what if there was another way? What if YouTube had a feature where you could replace an upload but still maintain the video's original metrics like the views and the shares, the watch time and all that? I know educational content creators who have wanted that kind of feature for years. Ooh, there's a mistake in the video. Whoops, let me just re-edit it real quick and then replace the video and everything will be fine. But you can't do that on YouTube right now. If you re-edit a video, then you have to upload another one. It has a brand new video URL. You have to start over with views and likes. It's a whole thing. Wouldn't it be awesome if YouTube let you just replace a video? You can keep the original URL. You can keep the original view count. You can keep the original upvotes and downvotes and comments section. 
If you keep all of that, all you're doing is changing the video itself. Vimeo, another online video platform, they actually already allow this. People do it all the time. Really quick to do, you just hit the replace button, you swap out the videos, no fuss. If the same system existed on YouTube, I could just replace whencardgamesbreak.mov with whencardgamesbreakv2.mov and call it good. Not possible right now, even though tons of people would like to be able to. Now, YouTube does have an edit button where you can cut clips out or or you can blur certain things to protect privacy, but those are difficult to use, they almost never look good. And besides, most of the time, if you're wanting to re-upload a video, you're not just wanting to cut something out, and you're not just wanting to blur something, it's usually something like structural to the video, like you've got a title card that has a typo in it, or you've got some kind of amateur looking dumb editing blip that you wanna fix. It's really frustrating that if you wanna fix something like that, you've gotta start from scratch and re-upload a whole new video. Other social networking platforms, they've got issues with this too. Twitter users have been wanting an edit button since forever. And I get it, I can see both the pros and cons for this issue. Like with Twitter, the company's really afraid that some nefarious character can write a certain tweet, get a whole bunch of likes and retweets on it, and then, just for the lols, edit the tweet to some really offensive message, and then all of a sudden you've got some kind of awful trash retweeted on your profile. I get it, there are dangers to that. There are some workarounds, there are ideas that you could put a little notification that says that the tweet has been edited, that's still not gonna stop abuse, I get that, I understand. I don't know what the solution is. Facebook allows you to edit messages. I don't think that's really caused a lot of problems for them. Could be wrong, I don't know. Plus it's like, okay, if YouTube today allows you to start replacing videos, does that change the scope of how videos work on the platform? Like if you do have a news show, you've got a video that covers a certain story and then further details come out later about that story. The facts and figures have kind of changed since the first time you post. Are people then going to start expecting all of these news channels to constantly be replacing and updating those videos with more information. It's kind of, I don't know. Plus, I know for YouTubers such as myself that have sponsored videos, this introduces a whole nother slew of headaches. Like, I know for a fact that there are certain companies, if they understood that YouTube allowed me to replace video files, then every single month they would want me to go back to the previous sponsored videos and update the ad at the end. And that's ridiculous. I'd have to update like 12 different videos every single month that would Oh, it would take so much time. <laughs> so it just opens the door for all kinds of squirrely issues that nobody's really thought through all the way. And I don't think that there is a universal answer. Whatever the case though, YouTube's policy right now is, no, you can't replace videos on our platform. Except, except if you're Apple. Apparently, last year Apple had an ad for iPhone 10 and the commercial displayed some kind of bug on the screen of the phone. A few days later, people clicked on the same video again. Ah, things were changed. That bug wasn't there anymore on the screen. So Apple, the company, was able to replace that particular video clip on that video page. So we know that YouTube can do it. Just a question of who you've paid off. But again, it opens up this can of worms because like YouTube doesn't have any kind of infrastructure to tell you if a video has been edited or replaced. So so like if one of these big companies does that, the only way you know that they did it is if you happen to save the video when it was first uploaded and then cross-reference it with a video at a later point in time. Who has the time to do that? Who cares enough to do that? I'll tell you who, Hearthstone fans. <laughs> Look, it's a complicated issue, okay? I don't know that there's any clear answer. I get why people want the feature. I myself have wanted the feature every now and then, but I also get why such a feature would create a lot of potential problems. And if you don't see that, imagine if you were a fan of the Sneezing Panda video. Boy, that's ancient YouTube these days. Sneezing Panda video has been seen by like tons of people. Imagine if out of nowhere you went to watch that video again and they had replaced the video where now you've got the sneezing panda, but tacked onto the end, a bunch of advertisements for some mobile game. It'd just be weird, right? It would be weird. All in all, I think this is really trying to get to the heart of a deeper issue on YouTube, which is what do you do if somebody messes up in a video? I mean, are you gonna, what, what do you do? I like to think, despite all the evidence to the contrary, that folks are understanding, they know that people change with time, and they're not gonna hold errors or mistakes from four or five years ago up against that person right now if they've changed. Uh, I say that, we all know that's not true. <laughs>
Just because it's not that way doesn't mean that it shouldn't be that way. So if like you're gonna try and make a career on YouTube of uncovering factual inaccuracies or mistakes of YouTubers, I, really? <laughs> People get things wrong. People make mistakes. You don't just trust all sources online to be 100% accurate, and you shouldn't be surprised if they aren't accurate. I also think it's a bad idea to hold people to a level of accountability that you would never expect of yourself. So I'm gonna focus on being kind and being long-suffering and being forgiving, and that's that. I am now going to read a sponsored advertisement. Before I do that, would you take the time to share this video? <laughs> like the video, subscribe, share it, or don't. I don't really care. Just know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for putting your ideas on the web. They've got high quality, totally customizable templates to make a great looking website in no time at all. If you're an artist, a business owner, or just somebody interested in carving out your own little corner on the internet superhighway, you'd do well to check out their service. Award-winning 24-7 customer support, superior reliability and uptime, free and unlimited limited hosting, there's no reason not to give it a shot, so why not try it out? You can get started today by going to squarespace.com to start your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Austin McConnell and use the promo code Austin McConnell at checkout to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.